Hello and welcome to Nitro Talk. So I've been kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to make this particular video. And uh, the, this is the best thing I've landed on. So we like to dress up our vehicles, right? Am I right? Uh, me personally, uh, I know that I do. Um, I think a lot of us do. Maybe not all of us. It's a big concern. But uh, to make a point, I wanted to show this. Now, if any of you have seen my video on my current uh, race buggy, my Hyper 7, uh, you would recognize it right here. Let me move this out of the way for a sec. All right, so this is what I'm running right now. It's a Hyper 7. Uh, this one is uh, a C-Hub car, not a pillow ball car. Uh, but this is my blue-themed Hyper 7. As you can see, all of the washers, the fuel line, the throttle arm, uh, even my, uh, what are those, lock collars. I didn't finally remembered something pretty quickly. Lock collars are even blue, as you can see, and uh, the SH has a nice blue there. So it's nice and all matching, right? That's Yes, I know that uh, it's not something that's going to make your car faster, but yes, I like to have my cars dressed up. That's just me, and I'm sure a lot of us are the same way, okay? All right, so that's my blue-themed Hyper 7. This is my purple-themed Hyper 7. And as you can see, basically all the things that were blue on the other one. Yes, I know that that's red, but this thing uh, is a... I think I went to try to switch it, and it's on there pretty good, and I didn't want to... Uh, servo is working great, so I don't really want to mess with it. So, anyway, and then red's kind of close to purple. Cut me some slack. Purple uh, fuel filter, purple line, purple, 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 right? Purple hubs on the wheels. So, anyways, purple theme, blue theme. That's what I have my vehicles set up. The reason why this one, the way I kind of do with my Hyper 7s, and again, this is a pillow ball car. Uh, I've been running Hyper 7s for years, and the way it has uh, basically been working out for the past few years is I'll have like a main one that I will run most of the time, and I'll have a backup, right? And then when my main one gets uh, to a point where this one is, where it's starting to get loose, uh, everything uh, has, you know, starting to get a little bit of slop here and there. The drive shafts get a little bit of play. Uh, this one's probably been ran for like a year, year and a half. Uh, and it is tired. It is ready for a rebuild. So um, I think that started maybe not the first one, but the blue one here was uh, my last, like, you know, year and a half ago. I completely rebuilt this one. It, it, it had gotten tired. So I basically stripped it down to bare chassis and rebuilt it. Uh, everything, replacing everything that needed replaced, refurbishing, and incorporating all the tricks that I've learned uh, on Hyper 7s throughout the years. I think I have figured out the Hyper 7 to the point where uh, every single small issue they had, I've worked out. I've worked out every issue with the Hyper 7, and I feel like uh, at this point, uh, I can set one of these up to compete and uh, finish any race. Uh, they are, when I get done with the Hyper 7, it is rock solid and uh, ready to race. But anyways, this one about a year ago, I completely rebuilt, uh, and I haven't been running it. I, I, was, I rebuilt this one while I was still running the purple one. So this one kind of was sitting around waiting for the purple one to die. And when it finally did, this one came up into uh, the main buggy status. Okay, so this is the main one I'm running now. And the purple one, it's ready to get its rebuild. And yeah, I do 
I always do one uh, pillow ball, one C hub. I know that they have different driving characteristics, but I kind of have them set up to where they drive very similar. Uh, I, uh, anyways, I, I have I always I, my two I, I always have a pillow ball and a C hub set uh, Hyper Seven. Uh, I like having one of each. Anyways, boy, I'm freaking taking a long time today on this one. So this car is ready for a rebuild which has nothing to do with this video. The whole point of this video, I'm sorry I'm freaking talking your ear off, is uh, the dressing up of the vehicles. And I had to use this one because it's purple. All right. We're talking dressing up. We're talking purple. Okay. So I'm at the Dollar Tree. We're six minutes in. I'm finally going to. And yes, turn on the light, dummy. Good lordy. Uh, okay, I used to have uh, in my old workshop above my workbench, right, right up there on the wall. I had a big sign that said that I made that said, "Take a before picture." Okay, I put that sign there to remind myself. I, I was always doing projects, always restoring, rebuilding things, and I liked the way it came out when it was done. Right, but I didn't have any evidence of what it was like before I started. So I, because I, I would always forget to take a before picture, so you'd have the before and after, so you could compare and see your work. You know what I mean? But I always kept forgetting to take that before picture. So I made a big sign. So I think now what I need is a big sign that says, "Hey Todd, turn the light on, dummy." Uh, I'm gonna have to do that because. I just apparently cannot remember to turn these lights on. All right, so now, lights are on. Purple car. We like to dress them up. I like to dress them up. We're finally going to get to what we're talking about today. I was at the Dollar Tree, and I saw, caught my eye, this stuff. Now it comes in multiple colors. And I'll tell you right away, the, um, the image, right, the thought that I got in my head, you know, uh, now we're thinking full-size regular cars now. Uh, it's not such a popular thing anymore, but I think, you know, it was pretty big probably in the 80s, 90s. Uh, you used to take on your customized uh, full size cars, how you would, one of the things you would dress up your engine bay is your hoses. They sold basically looms that went around your hoses. Uh, it would be like sta uh, braided stainless. And then it would have caps at the end of different colors. Let's say you, know, you had like a red or a blue theme in your engine bay. You would get the caps or even the whole braided steel would be colored to match your theme, okay? So that's the, that stuff was what I pictured in my head when I saw at the Dollar Tree this Floral Garden Mesh Tube, okay? And this is in purple. Now... Let me go ahead and snip a piece of this. Oh, snap. It's pretty, uh, oh, that's, wow, it's really strong, which uh, is surprising. But also, I was kind of thinking that this might be a good thing for protection of fuel line. And seeing as how it's as strong as it is, I think it would work very well to protect fuel line. Holy crap, I fucked it up. All right, so here's a piece of it. As you can see, uh, the size, it varies in size a lot. So you can get it pretty big and you can get it pretty small, okay? So, boy, I tell you what, though, it's hard to cut. Uh, don't use, I used uh, some dikes there to try to cut it. Let me try uh, with a razor knife. I bet this will work a lot better yeah use a razor knife don't use uh dykes all right so basically 
that is kind of like how they would dress up the uh, hoses on a full-size car with that stainless steel braided. I thought that this might be something we could dress up our fuel line with. I don't know. It's it's a thought, right? So let's let's see how it looks. Let me get me a piece big enough to cover that piece that I just took off there. And let's see how it looks. Now, yeah, it is a little sparkly. Okay. But hey, uh, well, you know, I, that's the whole thing. I don't know how it's going to look on the car. That's the main thing. You know, how you're thinking it might look. Uh, and then getting it into the tube might be difficult. But let's see. Oh, yeah, you can always just kind of push it and it opens it up. So, yeah, that, that won't be too bad to get on. Kind of push it on and then let it. Mm, it's kind of kind of does the Chinese uh, finger trap thing and holds on to it. Let's see if we can move. There we go. That's how you got to kind of work it on from this side and then slide it. There we go. All right. So that is a covered piece of fuel tubing. Let's now take and trim, trim it. All right. So that is a piece of fuel line with our protector, protective cover on it, right? And you could put uh, the ends, I'm, I'm thinking maybe throw a zip tie around the ends so as not, so it doesn't unravel, you know what I mean? Just kind of zip tie there. So, <laughs> you know, I uh, it's an acquired taste. Uh, I don't think everyone is going to be uh, super hip. Uh, good lordy, that thing is on there. Uh, not everyone's going to be uh, hip to putting this stuff on their cars. But some people might. i tell you what. It doesn't look... Now, before, before I started... I was like, you know, this is either going to look really cool or it's going to look kind of uh, uh, kind of flashy, if you get my drift. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Putting it on, uh, I don't think it looks bad. I think I might. I think I might actually run this car and like I said they have other other colors so I can get some blue for my blue car uh, now you have to again a little unraveled there have to clean up the ends and put some zip ties on it but I don't know what do you think is it a little now the protection thing when you have ones that are running right by your throttle linkage, it is pretty strong stuff. So I think it would help to give some protection if you have a line that was running uh, on top of or below your throttle linkage and it you know is kind of close and it's rubbing. Uh, it might help with that. So you know, hey, I think it kind of looks cool. I might. Uh, clean up, like I said, clean up, put some zip ties on it, make sure it's nice and tight all the way around. And of course, uh, you got to put the engine and pipe on there to where, you know, it'll be how it's going to look. But, you know, I I think it came out okay. Um, you get a whole bunch of it for a buck. You get P. Linty of it. I tell you what, I, I don't mind it. I think it looks kind of cool on there. Plus with the... Uh, added protection I, I think it's kind of a win I don't know uh, I think I know that some people are going to be like holy crap that looks like that looks so gaudy but I don't know what do you think I'd love to hear your opinion on 
the Dollar Tree mesh tube in purple as a fuel line dress up uh, slash protector. What do you think? I'd love to hear from you. See you next time. Hey, like and subscribe. Good darn it. I think I deserve it for doing this. Take her easy.